Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Surah Al-Araf Verses 138 A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Wa jawazna bi bani Israel al-bahra Fatau ala qawmi ya'kufun ala asna min lahum Qalu ya Musa ja'al lana ilahan kama lahum aliha Qala innakum qawmun tajahalun إِنَّهَا أُولَاءِ مُتَبَّرٌ مَا هُمْ فِيهِ وَبَاطِلٌ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ قَالَ أَغَيْرَ اللَّهِ أَبْغِيكُمْ إِلَهًا قَالَ أَغَيْرَ اللَّهِ أَبْغِيكُمْ إِلَهًا وَهُوَ فَضَّلَكُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ وَإِذْ أَنْجَيْنَاكُمْ مِنْ آلِ فِرْعَوْنَ يَسُومُونَكُمْ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ يقتلون أبناءكم ويستحيون نساءكم وفي ذلك بلاء من ربكم عظيم وواعدنا موسى ثلاثين ليلة وأتممناها بعشر فتم ميقات ربه أربعين ليلة وقال موسى لأخيه هارون خلفني في قومي وأصلح ولا تتبع سبيل المفسدين <coughs> So this verse talks about what happened to Musa alayhi salam with Bani Israel in a new chapter of their life a whole chapter has has finished and a new chapter has started this is very important in the in the evolution and history of any society those who are on truth on the true path and a minority or under persecution uh, under the mercy of another power who a, a, a tyranny under a tyranny who we, who oppresses the uh, a group of believers okay so what happens is that because of the guidance of the leader among that a small group in this case in this case it is uh, in this case it is Musa alayhi salam by his guidance they are saved they gain victory over this tyrant by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as it happened to Bani Israel because of their patience because of their sabr because of their seeking help isti'ana isti'inu billahi wasbiru now they are given the power now comes another test you see this world is a place of test test for individuals test of societies and the test comes both in the form of scarcity calamity hardship at it, as it happened to Bani Israel at the previous era at the time of Firaun now the Firaun has gone and this is their their part now so now it becomes the test of another type the test of power the test of affluence the test of bounties the test okay so in both cases there are th there are ideal uh, behavior that a Muslims needs to behave at the time of scarcity hardship it is the sabr at the time of affluency it is the shukr and that's gonna be the win-win situation and very often people might pass the first test at the time of scarcity they feel humble and their heart is attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but very often at the time of affluence people forget they don't pass that test and sometimes this this more difficult to pass the second test at the time of affluence so many things comes you are now attached to this world the material attachment attached with authority attached with position attached with power it's very hard very difficult and the greatest difficulty is when you start to lose your attachment with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who granted you the victory so what happened is that immediately after this scene in front of them the Bani Israel how Allah saved them 
with such a miracle that the sea split and they were saved and their dreadiest enemy was, was drowned, immediately they started to resort to shirk, to associate deities with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ij'allana ilahan kamalahum aliha. Passing by a people who worship other deities, they ask Musa, Oh Musa, give us a deity like they have a deity. Wasn't it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wasn't he enough as a, as a deity that you want another deity? Ij'allana ilahan kamalahum aliha. So this is mere ignorance ignorance of the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala innakum qawmun tajhaloon aghayr allahi abghikum ilahan wa huwa faddalakum ala alamin how can you imagine that I will bring you another ilah another deity and Allah is your deity and he has given you upper hand over over all other people at your time because of the Torah Although the Torah is the scripture is, is yet to come, but because of these this miracles that they have seen and the guidance of Musa alayhi salam, so one really needs to remember the not be forgetful of the favors of Allah on us all the time whenever you start feeling this arrogance you start recalling the miracles and the bounties of Allah and you will never uh, you will never uh, be short of them thousands of Allah's bounties on us it's matter of meditation and contemplation and seeking them once you start to close your eyes and, and start thinking you will get lots of them in your own life in the society in your children you will see that how Allah has been bountiful to you so why why should you start seeking other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as your savior as 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 an object of worship and deity may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us pass the exam in all the status and phases of our life at the time of scarcity as well as at the, at the time of affluence wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh